So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Cartesian equation of a plane, okay, where this uh, equation actually comes from. So here is a plane. Let's draw one in. Okay, and here is the origin O. And I want to be able to get to any point that is on the plane, okay? So here's the point P, for example. So that's any point on the plane. Okay, and I want to get there. So I need some instructions to get me from O to P. Okay, and we'll write that in as R. So, clearly, as we did with the vector equation of a plane, I need to know a point that is on the plane to start off with. I need instructions to get me to a, get me onto the plane. So here is the point, let's call it A. Okay, and this vector... Keep it consistent. That's vector A, okay? And that gets me onto the plane. Now, there is another bit of information that I'm going to need in these cases, and that is a normal vector. So the vector that is normal to the plane, which means that it's at right angles to the plane at every point. So here is my normal vector, and I'm going to write it in as n, okay? And it is perpendicular to the plane, okay? That's what it is. So this is a normal vector to the plane. So these are two bits of information that I need to be given in order to write down the equation of the plane, effectively. I need the point A, and I need to know a vector that is perpendicular to the plane. Because then, what I can do is I can draw in the line going from A to P. Okay. So that this vector that gets me from A to P is actually R minus a. So going from a to p, I'm going back along a, so that's minus a plus r. Okay? And what I know is that because r minus a is parallel to the plane, because it's running along the plane, that means that r minus a dotted with n, the normal vector, that must be zero. They must be at right angles to one another. Now, what you can do there is then expand the brackets out. Like so. Now, if we think about what R is equal to, that's X, Y, Z. And n, well, we could write n as n1, n2, n3. OK? And we're going to leave this minus a dot n alone. And then we can say, well, that's x times n1, so n1x, plus n2y, plus n3z. OK? And then we've got this a dot n. Now, that's just going to be as some number. So let's put that in as D, and that gets us the equation of the plane. So where D, just uh, for information purposes, where D is equal to minus A dot N. Okay? That is the equation of the plane, the uh, Cartesian form of the equation of the plane. In the majority of cases, this is much easier to work with uh, than the vector equation of a plane. And it's the one that we more regularly work with uh, in core four. Okay, so this is definitely one to know kind of where it's come from. This is given to you in the formula booklet. It also tells you how to find D. So as long as you know a point that's on the plane and a normal vector to the plane, 
then you can find the equation in this format. And we're going to see an example of that in the next video.